Generic greetings! Back on their ships, conquer the skies once again. We're going to go to the conquest mode and we're going to start a new game and have a little bit of a bash through. Last time I did this, I showed you the um, the monsters and stuff, and it's still on that. We've still got some monsters to uh, to see and smash. Hopefully, the problem with the last uh, video is that I made a couple of things to kill said monsters, but never really attacked them. So we're hopefully going to be changing that in this episode. And what a lot of people said was uh, go for a ramming vessel and ram into things because that'll be a good way of taking them out especially dragons and stuff apparently so let's just see how this one goes so we'll quickly create ourselves a map and as we can see we've got a uh, generic up the top here I normally put the generic ones but I to be honest with you couldn't be type couldn't be asked to type any further we got Tepid Falls to our left, and then we've got Giant Spiders some Dragons around there. Dark Fell Burn down the bottom, Pale, and then uh, the Old Quama on the island at the bottom there. So not a bad couple of connections, couple of uh, Dragons and other things around there. Still, we've only got Giant Spiders and Dragons because the uh, the patch ain't out yet. As of the time recording, knowing my luck though, about a, about maybe three milliseconds after I finish the recording this one, the patch will drop and there'll be other stuff in. But either way, let's just go to a design ship, and what we want to do is build it around the weapons. That's good good way of doing things I think you always build it around the weapons so we need to go over to weapons and change it to the grand ram so there is one one unit of ram and we need to do it we need to connect it up so that it is we've got a basic tab here and actually it won't be in basic it'll be in structure won't it let's go to structural and then over to struts and we all want to do is uh, connect this thing via struts that'll be the bottom of the ship we're essentially making a ship that's not going to be quite high but it's going to ram right into stuff like really really very 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 fast so what we'll probably do for that is have a large propeller because it's very very uh, quick it'll give us some nice speed in fact let's have a check out of that speed is 23 so it's actually not very fast at all and we could actually put an engine pod on it if we really wanted to by putting an engine pod there what will actually bring our speed up to speed is 27 is it not a bigger propeller i don't think there is could put a sail on the back no speed's not too bad mm, we'll see how it goes so there's that what we'll do, we will connect, we'll have a large, do we have a large suspendium chamber? What is our service ceiling? Service ceiling is 95 meters. Even one of them only lifts us a little bit off the ground. It's just because of the size of this thing, because of the, how heavy that proud, that ramming thing is. So we'll go, what if, if we move some of this strut? No, it really doesn't change much at all, does it? It's because of that. I mean, that is huge. Wow, it's actually 3,000. That is 3,000 weights. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's the unit of uh, measurement we're using. Weight. How much weight is it? 3,000 weight. Good, thanks for that. So, we need a couple of things. We need to go over to our... I think we'll go to weapons again. And we'll go for probably a... We do want a cannon? No, we don't. We want probably grenades. And we'll put a grenade. Three grenade modules. No, one grenade module like that. And then, you know what? We're going to have to lift this up. I'll make it longer. Make, I'm thinking longer, like that. So we'll have that there. Coal store there. That there. Now, this is problematic because it will almost certainly blow up when um, stuff gets near it. <laughs> It's it. We're not designing it to be fireproof or anything like that. It's essentially you ram into something and you say GG and then you walk off. So, there's that. We need a way to drive this thing around. So we'll want to go to probably command and crew. And quarters, one quarters. So how many air sailors? Twelve. Recommended crew fourteen. Put one more in there. There's that. Oh, we can't go up and down. We need to be one longer. Actually, let's make it two longer. For reasons that may become clear in but a moment. There's them. And then we'll go over to basic. And corridor. Where's corridor? Corridor. Like that. Alright. And then we need to go to Command and Crew. Bridge. Bosch, there's a bridge. Reason we're doing a bridge and not a the reason we're doing a bridge and not a um uh, not a what you call it? A, what are they called? Let's have a quick look. I forgot the name of it now. Cockpit. The reason we're doing bridge and not a cockpit is because we need to order it to go forward and back, forward and back quite quick. Whereas a Cockpit 
is a lot like you can't really do many orders so we don't want that one we need to go back over to resources and small ammo store and we also need some way of putting in we also need a supply hatch right that's a legit vehicle it's a bit cuboid but it'll work he says not knowing we'll go to armor and we can see that it is wooden armor that is fine with me we'll paint it bright red because we can and then we want to put a mouth on it no not like that and perhaps an eye like that very nice wooden nameplate perhaps right so Rename. It's the Gav. Uh, we've ordered Ramington. The Gav Hammerington, which goes over the nameplate, so we'll probably need to get rid of said nameplate and putting a put a large one on instead, like so. So, hammer time. We will save the design, and we will leave because we don't have enough money to actually build it. So, we'll unpause the game. We're getting a little bit of money, which is okay. Uh, well, 34 a time, that's okay. Build ship. And we've got the uh, Zeppington, which was our high-level bomber, which worked very, very, very well. Chop Fighterington, uh, Block Gunnington. We've got a lot of other things that we really made. <laughs> don't think it'll workington. I don't think that did work. Look at the speed. That was the, that was pretty much the vessel I was, I've just made now. Oh, well. Uh, so, we'll need to wait. How much was it, actually? I didn't check. Uh, build ship, it is the... Hammerington, there it is. So, build. Just over a thousand. So, what we want to do, as I said, I, I made a couple of ships last uh, last time to take out, like, dragons and giant spiders. And I took the dragons out, I think, by just firing guns at them. But they did come up to my vessels and flame them. I also uh, managed to try and... I managed to take out the giant spiders by essentially landing on them. Uh, <laughs> I tried to do a high-level bombing run, but I didn't go up fast enough. And they managed to grapple me and then pull me down. By the way, that is something that's going to be added more as well. So, like, grapple stuff and things like that. That should be good when that uh, gets all put back in. Or put in, right? Rather. So yes, I managed to uh, do that, um, and it was okay. One thing that I've just realised is that versing spiders is problematic because you get boarded by the little sort of baby spiders, and even though this can ram, I don't know if that work because even if it kills mother spider, the little spiders will be able to take over the ship. But we'll see how it goes. So we're just going to wait a little bit until we've got some more money. Let's have a quick look here. We've got the uh, is that a ground vessel? It is. It's got legs on it. The unhealthy. And we got the Hammerington. So we need to wait until we've got a bit more money. We'll speed up to max speed. And what will happen is that the other nations will attack each other and stuff like that. One of the other comments from the last episode I found quite funny was... Uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the flags, a lot of these... Um, what you call it? The coat of arms were very similar. And someone said, you know, this is... This is pretty much how it goes down, you know. You would say, hey, you've got stripey flags. No, but you, no, you've got horizontal stripes. Yes, well, I've got vertical stripes. We should fight. <laughs> this is how war starts. I like that. Build ships. Hammerington. Buildy, buildy. And then we will attack with them. We could attack Tepid Falls on the left. By the way, I don't plan on winning this. I, I, I always aim to win these, but I'm not, you know... Normally, I go out and I try to win it. And if, if that happens, then fair enough. That's good. Uh, and then, you know, if it doesn't, then whatever. We've probably been defeated and bested, you know, all professionally and such. But in this one, I'm genuinely not really bothered about attacking the other players. I want to attack the spiders and things like that. So we've got these two. Let's click on that one. And we'll say attack the dragons with my ramming vessel. So here we go. They've got two dragons. And, oh, right, my service ceiling is very, very, very low. This might not work at all. They don't have a ground thing, so we'll click start. Uh, that's save combat. Uh, we'll click start, and we'll see what happens. If they're going to come down, oh, my good grief, uh, they are. Let's go to move there, and can we ram into them? Nope, they are just, they are just flaming me. Yes, and, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. We can probably ram and flip there. Go, go, go. No, 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 don't go up first, you fathead. Oh, good grief. So, flee. Just flee. They don't work. They, they, they don't. They don't work at all. Yes, what 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 happened there is um, 
is, is that didn't really make it very very good uh, yeah it, 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 couldn't, it couldn't go high enough to to really do anything with them okay let's try again we'll attack the spiders let's see if this works better so two giant spiders which people have mentioned that they really really dislike it's fair it's sort of understandable if you have a problem with spiders there's the spiders ram there go so here we are and they're firing stuff at me i'm going forward with the ramming pow let's see what happens Whoa! Straight in the moy! Oh my good grief! It worked! It worked! It killed one of them! It actually worked! So I am I am boarded, however, which is why the ship stopped because the spiders are now on board. And they are killing everybody on board the ship. Which is very bad. Yep, and it's now fell out the sky because it is defeated. Okay. We'll move back there then. I did manage to kill a spider though. Okay, so against spiders, it works okay. Okay. What we need to do is design ship, open design, Hammerington. It's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. So, I need to change a couple of things. I need to go to troops and over to a guard barracks. How many crew do I have? Air sailors 24. Recommended 17. Right, okay. So get rid of those two. Guard barracks. Two in there. So. I'll do that. I don't think I need to do that because they can go up the other areas. Now that I think of it. Yes. Right, so we've got guard barracks. And I can remove some of these because it doesn't really. We don't need to have it. There is one hatch. What we'll do, we'll put the hatch there. Hang on. We'll have to think about this one. I want a guard post there. And a guard post. I could put one there. No real need for one, though, is there? Mm, that's okay. We'll put them back in, actually. And we are missing a supply hatch, so we can probably put it there. Basic supply hatch. Needs more supply hatches. Well, we can resolve that issue easily, can't we? There we go. A little bit more expensive. In terms of guards, we've got eight. And we've got one marine sitting there. Uh, say there's 24 recommended crew. Uh, 17. If we put another one of these in, do we get any more? Uh, do we get any more? No. You see, it doesn't change the amount of guards we have. So there we go. Save the design. I'm not going to save it as Mark II, because I think that's fine. We'll overwrite the Hammerington, yes, and then we'll leave that, because we can't actually afford to, to build it. Now, we should be able to mm, refit it. Open design. That. And fit it out. There we go. So we're refitting the old one. So now, if we do ram into a spider, we should be able to fend off the little ones. I hope, he says, not knowing if that's true or not. We're going to find out, though. Here we go. So there should be only one left. There is only one left. Move that down here. What's that there? It's like a jellyfishy type thing. Start the fight. Ram there. Go. Here we go. So it's firing at us. And it's going to go. Oh, we're going to sail straight over the top. Straight over the top. Okay. It looks like we are going to get a test to see whether or not this thing works or not. You can see immediately what happens is the ship sort of stops about a bit because it's uh, all the crew are under attack. We are. Well, we're not dead yet, which is always a good thing. And. Ram, ram, ram. Didn't work. Ran back over to there. You know what? That worked, look. It's actually defeated the little baby spiders. Excellent. Let's ram over here, and here we go. It's backing up, because it knows what's coming. Pain train, there's no brakes on it. Oh, yeah, just don't use the ram, mate. <laughs> well, we don't need the ram, apparently. We'll just use the, uh... <laughs> we'll just use the fuel. Uh, sorry, the, the ammo store. 
Victory, though. Um, so, you defeat a giant spiders and burn out the last of their brood. These lands are safe again. The local towns fuck off what savings they have. 500! Excellent, so we can move there now. So you can see it's all dead. That's... That works! Right, okay, so build ship once more, Hammerington. That's fine. Now, we will see if it can take out the other spiders. There's other spiders down there. We should be okay. We should be okay. And it's giving us money as well, which is fantastic. We'll speed up to max speed and then crack on. And then we'll do some tests against the other people as well to see if we actually uh, can defeat them. So click on this, and we will attack the giant spider nest. So, there's one spiders, one spider, one spider, -er, one spider there. Move this one back here, because what I want to do is have this one ram straight through and then the other one come in as well. We'll start and immediately pause it. That one will say ram to there. This one, ram to there. Go. So here we are. It's going to go through the tree, hopefully. Yep. Oh, God. Yep, we're powering, yep, we're powering through it. And then... We did hit it, and there we go, look, it's gone. It is actually gone. We want to just sort of smash straight through it. And victory, because even though there's little spiders on there, there's nothing for them to go to. So Giant Wolf Spider is gone, and we've gained 500 as well. It's very easy money, this. It is very easy money. I like it. In fact, what I'm going to do is go over here and uh, click on that one, and then invade, uh, attack that one there. More spiders. Again, just keep attacking the spiders and get some money. The dragons, a little bit more problematic. You know, it's going to be... An issue trying to actually take these things out. So we're going to move these down. I've, I've learned that the way to do the best way to do this ramming is to keep it low down as possible. Because if they go into these delves, it's problematic. So if I move them like that and make sure that I'm just above like the lowest level of the land so I don't clip it, we should be okay. So we'll start that and we will ram over to there. That just killed itself. You can see what happened. I don't know if you did see. Oh, it's pulling us towards us. Oh, mate, you're going to die. It, it knows it's made an error. It knows... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that went so quick, I couldn't really commentate on what happened. So first things first. The spider had beached itself on top of a tree, and then that died because of it. So it essentially skewered itself. And the other one, uh, I was trying to ram through it, and I hit this tree, and I was slowly digging through, slowly cutting through, and then it fired its web and then dragged me towards it. So essentially, it just... You know, it, it, I, think, I think, you know, realisation happened about an inch away from its face that that was probably not the best thing to do and then it pulled a 300 or 3000 weight brass ram's head into its eyeballs it died so another 500 excellent we want to go down to we got more giant spiders nests over here so we'll we'll attack them as well because this is fantastic at doing this sort of thing the dragons i don't know the best way of taking them out i really don't um maybe Maybe the best way... Oh, we can't. This is problematic. We're going to have to go all the way back there. Move that here. And we'll start. And this one will say ram to about there. So we're going to have to go through several trees. Which shouldn't be too much of a problem. You can see they're sort of hitting each other. I don't like the sounds that these make. That's going to kill itself. Probably. Oh, no! Oh! <laughs> oh! I don't know if you saw what happened there. Oh, my ramen pro is gone. Nah, it doesn't matter. I don't know if you saw what happened there, but um, this one, the spider here was a little bit stuck on the tree. And what happened is the one at the back thought, I'm going to web this and try to pull me through. It pulled me through the other spider. Imagine, imagine the conversation that it would have ensued afterwards. Why did you do that? Oh, well, that was a good idea. No, that was, that was not a good idea. That was the opposite of of a good idea. That was the most monumentally stupid idea that I've ever seen. Why? Why? Because you pulled a massive brass ram into my head. Well, all right, sorry, I made a mistake. <laughs> These spiders are not that smart. Right, so we've got a lot of money, enough to probably go to build ship, and what can we work? We've got this Wington, which is another one of these ramming things. We've got the Zeppelins, which I think is something we probably want to make. Or do you want to make another ship? Do you want to design another ship? And I think instead we'll go for another Hammerington and we'll start that. And let's see if I can attack Tepid Falls. See if I can attack that and um, 
take them out. We'll speed up to max speed. Obviously, my money is still quite low, but I'm getting money by just farming these locations. Now, I can't attack the dragons. We've seen what happens when I do that. But let's go over to Tepid Falls, and apparently they've got a really, really fast vehicle, and they've got their first. So they've got... Oh, it's a mini tankington. It's not even a tankington. It's like a little transport. It's only got one gun. And then they've got uh, one defensive structure at the back there. So we'll move this down to about here. And this one can attack the tank, and the other ones can move over the other side. So we'll start that immediately. These ones will say probably move over to there. Go over to the left-hand side. It's got a bit of fog here, and we'll say ram to about there. And then what's going to happen is it's going to start plowing through the ground. Now, I found that ramming these does not... Oh, actually, I think I've just... No, I was going to say, I thought I'd uh, attacked that and destroyed it, but we hadn't. All right, so that one is going to go down. We'll say ram to about there. This one we'll actually will take over to the other side. And we'll say ram this one, ram to there. Oh, we've got a ram over here. I find that ramming ground vehicles doesn't generally tend to work because they back up like that. Look at that. That's crazy. Look how fast it's moving back. I'm going to move down to there. And we've already had a ram. Look, there's the first ram. We'll pull it back. This one we'll say ram to there. This one we'll say ram to there. So we're attacking it from both sides. Here we go. And... Oh! Oh, that's that's got some explosions. Yeah, that, that works out. Oh, no. No, that didn't work out at all. Uh, we, it looks like we, the suspendium chamber has been taken out. This one has also got the same issue. So we're going to go for another ram. Here we are. Yeah, we're just pushing it, look. And the other one's been taken out. So actually, this is not going so well. Right, just keep going ramming forward. Here we are. We're going to ram through our own vessel. Yep, yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, that's that's going that's that's going quite badly there. Uh, it looks like they're on fire, quite quite heavily on fire, in fact. What we'll do, we'll ram to there, and then we will go and ram a bit forward to there. And here we go. What did I hit there? Oh, I hit my own ship. Oh well. Looks like their ground vessel has been taken out, as you can see. That's on fire. That one's taken out. This one isn't. This one here isn't. So here we are. Here we go. There we go with one. Bang. And it goes down. Look at that. There's nothing left. Victory. General takeover. And move over to there. Quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. We got there in time. And then the turn round. Whew. There's loads of little things under there. See, it's in secret place. That's a bit of a glitch, I think. Right. We'll go to probably repair. We need to repair all of these. It looks like that guy's now wiped out. There's only uh, Darkfellburn and whatever this other one is that's there. Now, the problem I have is that they're going to attack Tepid Falls and they're going to take it over. I'm just going to flee and they can have it. As I said, I'm not really in the game here to try and take them out. I just wanted to see if it works. And I've also got nothing to, to attack with. So, I will repair these up and then probably attack... Invade Tepid Falls. We'll see what they've got. They've got a ground vehicle and some air stuff. The air stuff is a very high height and it's a ramming vessel. Well, it has to come down to meet a ram. And this one is a ground vessel. So actually, this shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. We'll start this up. We'll ram over to there. And this shouldn't take too long. <laughs> well then, uh, I think I just took its legs off. Yeah, I actually just took its legs off. The problem I have now is it essentially is flaming me. That's flaming as well, apparently. But let's ram forward. Ah, the problem is now, the the ramming prow, it, it's attacking me with its ramming prow. Look, it's attacking me with its ramming prow, but it's attacked in the area where I didn't want it to attack. It's attacking all of my command, and now I can't give command to it. Oh, okay. So I'll have to ram back up. Is this coming to ram me? It is. If I could just go up, it'd be fine. Here we go. Yeah, it's beating me on a ramming vessel. So we'll, we'll bring this up and flip it. We'll see if we can land and sort of crush it on top here. Yep, there we go. We Right, we know that we're actually way, way more than it, which is good. So I want it to come back down. Ram to there. Go, go, go. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, my ramming prow versus its ramming prow. I think I'm going to win this. And hi! Surprise! <laughs> look at that. I can actually push it. I've got a lot more weight to this. Oh, there we go. Look, it's lost its back end. It can't actually move anymore, which means I can come, come just continue doing what I'm doing. And also, this is going to hit its suspendium chamber yeah that's out of the game now oh no no don't ram your own vehicle you okay fine so i can now pretty much attack this at my leisure 
So you can see my grenades, look. You see my grenades flashing and exploding. So my, what do I do? Do I go down and just attack it like that? I think I do. I think I'm going to go about here and then ram it from the back. Come on. And then ram it there. Go, go, go. There we go. Suspendium's gone. Ram back. So I've got grenades going off. That was a very tough fight, that one. I think I've got this, but very tough fight. Oh, we're going to shoot off straight over the top of it, aren't we? Ah, oh, God's sake. Because it goes laterally and then vertically, I think. So now all we've done is managed to get our entire front end rammed and flamed. And I've got no command. Oh, well. Yeah, that's lost us the game. We're going to have to flee. We're going to have to flee back. Although, they don't have anything there to stop me. So I can just take it over now. Save. Hang on. Start. Then win. Surely. Yeah, victory. I was going to say. There's no reason why that wouldn't be like that. So they've got nothing here that can take me out. Nothing yet. We're going to repair these things up. And then we'll attack uh, Pale. So, finish this one off. Repair that. Hmm. I think we'll have to do another high-level bomber. I'll have to build one. Not design one, we've already got one, you see. So we'll attack over there. The high-level bomb was really good versus the dragons, I think, because it would just drop stuff down. And what have they got? A little defensive structure. Fine. We'll start that off. And this one, we'll say move down to about there. We'll move these further forward as well. There's some rockets coming in. Victory, they've actually surrendered straight away. Brutal takeover then, and immediately what we'll do, we'll uh, quickly invade Darkfellburn, and we might be able to take this continent out. They have... Oh, my good grief. Right, they've obviously gone in for the uh, <laughs> Imperial Guard school of <laughs> of war, which is big guns, lots of concrete. So, in order to take these out... Oh, it's even worse than I thought. In order to take these out, I'm going to have to do a lot of fast ramming. Problem is that I don't know if I can do it. We're going to say ram. I'm going to say over to there. Go. And obviously we're going to have to go through the Suspendium Rock first. There's the big bronze cannons coming in first, the grand cannons. But we're getting a fairly decent lick of speed up. Give it a bit more large. Come on. Go for it. Have it, have it, have it. Right, one of the cannons has been taken out. This is good. So back ramming here. And this one's same. Back ram over to there. And then... Oh, yeah, yeah, that one's got taken out. You see, I don't know if you saw that, but a massive cannon shot just came in and completely annihilated the Suspendium Chamber. And... There we go. Excellent. That's been taken out as well. Ram back over to there. We're still pushing the Suspendium Rock back. As long as they continue attacking this one at the bottom, I'm not too bothered. I'm actually going to go down a little bit. And then what I want to do is ram and take that one out. Because that's their big gun uh, attacking. Oh, it should be gone. Why is it going up? No, I said ram. It's going to miss it again. Nope. Nope. It actually attacked the Suspendium Chamber. And then we're out. Out of call. Oh, well, yeah. We actually are just out of call. Right. Ram down to there. And then I want to ram into this thing. So one last try to take this thing out. Ram, ram, ram. Go, go, go. And it's drifting down. That's not good. Oh, it's actually digging through the center. Which could work. Pull back. I've told to pull back because it's trying to go up. It's not working. He says as the thing mass explodes massively. Let's ram back over there. We need to get a bit of speed up. It's not moving for some reason. That one's on fire. There's nothing much we can do about that. Ram back over. It's not moving. We've got coal. It's just not moving. It's not moving. We're going to flee. And we've disarmed one. We've... Disarmed one. Actually, we can probably move to there. Disarmed one, and one was uh, destroyed, sadly. But we will repair these. It looks like we might be able to take them out with just ramming vessels. Hmm. Don't know if we'll be able to do anything else, though. My plan is to build another bomber. I'm going to attack the giant spiders down here. And that means that I should be able to get some money. Only one giant spider by the look of it. So I'll pull it down to about there. Move this one back here. Start the fight. Very dark, but doesn't really matter too much. We'll ramble there. And here we go. Oh, it's uh, trying to board us, which is fine. And then we're now pushing forward. And the grenades take it out. Easy fight. Very easy fight. 
Yeah, the spiders have a big weakness to the ramming there. And we got another 500. And what we'll do, we'll immediately go down to attack them giant spiders as well. Just because it gives us cash. Two giant spiders this time. But we have a nice, a nice sort of flat plane where we can, where we can ram with. So we'll ram to about there and go. That's the thing with the game, that, you know, because it, it's there's nothing there's nothing definite about it, and that makes it interesting because, you know, you don't know what the land's going to be like, you don't know what you're going to encounter precisely, you don't know how they're going to react. Yeah, it's doing its pull towards me thing again, and then they're taken out. Push me, pull you, you're gone. To meet you, to meet you, Chuckle Brothers come along, and they're gone. Immediately, we won that. Pretty oh, where are they attacking? They're attacking over here. How dare they attack me? How dare they? Right, over to generic. Uh, we want to move that down to... No, we don't want to do... Can we move that down? Where can we move this down to? Mm, I don't know where. Let's go to build ship. We want to have the Zeppelin, Inkton, Mark II. And we also want to... we got this unhealthy. I don't even know what it is, but I'm going to send it to attack the dragons just to see what happens. It's got flat guns on it. It's also apparently just dropping out the sky. There's the flat guns. Which might do very well, actually. Until it gets underneath the flat guns and then flames the living hell out of us. Whoa, do you see that? Like, oh, look at the speed of it exploding, essentially. <laughs> yeah, the only real way to defeat the dragons is high level bombing or, I think, um, probably. Probably nothing that's flammable, nothing that made of. Uh, Nothing that can be... Are they attacking over there again? They are. Nothing that can be set on fire. So, another... Another attack here. Let's see what happens. Start the fight. Tell these just to ram to about there. Actually, we'll tell that one to ram about there. And the other one, we will ram to about there. And go. They've actually built another thing, look. They're just going full on defensive. The problem is that as, one, as soon as one of these parts goes out, it's, uh, it pretty much dies. Right, I'm trying to take all the flat cannons out, you see. We're going to have to... ...ram back. We can't. Everything's broke. Everything's broke. And that's broke as well. <laughs> Flee again. You know what? I don't think... Oh, we've lost both of them as well. I don't think... We're going to be able to win this one. Just because we've been messing around too much with the with the RAM stuff. I'm going to leave it there because, as I said at the start, my objective wasn't to... Uh... Let me just flee on that one. It's just someone attacking from the bottom left. My objective wasn't to actually win this uh, little campaign. It was to attack the uh, the spiders and stuff. You actually see it starting to respawn now. So what we've learned is that ramming is very, very good against spiders. And if you don't want to lose the vessels, then you put a couple of guards on it. And then essentially, it's the you know it's the best way to take it out as far as I can tell. I don't know if there's a way to board the spiders. Like you send like um, your marines on it and they actually shoot it up. I don't think that's possible. But I, I'm really interested in trying that now. In terms of dragons, they're really fast. And they've obviously got flamethrowers. Well, they've got, you know, the breathe fire. So that is... Um, an issue. The best way to take them out is um, essentially just get out of their way because normally they've got a quite high service ceiling, they're quite fast and they're set with flamethrowers so what you need to do is have something that is either very heavily armoured and uh, you know you've got a lot of fire points to put them out and uh, probably something that also is very high so it can't actually they can't get up there to flame you. Probably having a very, very low flak vessel might work, but we saw earlier when we sent that uh, walker down that that didn't really work too well either. Or you could just swarm them as well yourself with a lot of machine guns and stuff like that. So there's probably a lot of ways to take them out. I haven't figured it out yet, but uh, the interesting part is finding out. As always, though, that is a little bit of the airships. Link in the description so you can check it out yourself. I am going to be doing a series on this when the last, or when the next patch drops. So we'll do a full big one where we'll build loads of stuff from that, but we'll see how it goes. As always, though, thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.